What they're debating is whether or not hepatitis B vaccine should be given immediately after birth to, uh, to babies. And the reason we've moved as a country towards this policy is to prevent chronic liver infection amongst babies that if they were otherwise exposed, we know that 90% of babies exposed to hepatitis B uh, during birth will de develop chronic liver disease, which is uh, a potentially a fatal condition. And that's what we're trying to avert here and moving towards a different paradigm, which they want to do. And they shroud it with terms like informed consent, things that already happen or, uh, uh, you know, false concerns on safety of the vaccines, the very safe vaccine. Uh, it would really result it would result in tens of thousands of chronic liver disease cases, which is the concern. But I, I know we have Dr. Crossley here and I wanted mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Crossley to come to you with a question on. I, I, we've had a lot of these conversations. I wonder what, from your vantage as the president of the American Academy of Pediatrics, are your biggest worries about all these debates, whether it's hepatitis B, aluminum and vaccines? What's your biggest concern for parents across the country? Yeah, before we go there, I, I just want to reframe the way we're thinking about this. We have safe and effective vaccines that have worked. They have been scheduled and tested. Vaccines are tested more than any other drugs because we have to do those studies on children, which requires different lay layers of protection for children. And so they are among the most studied drugs that we have. And here are some people who are taking what we have as fact-based science and without any science saying, we propose something different. They say they want science and transparency. Well, to try something different without a good reason and without science to back up that theirs is better is what is framing all of this and creating chaos, distrust, and lack